This is CBS 8 News Live at 11. Hey, thanks so much for joining the show. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampur. Right now, investigators trying to figure out what started a fire. This was at a townhome complex, pretty dense area in University City. This happened this morning on Playmore Terrace. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol has been at the scene all morning long here, joining us live now with an update. Dana Marie. Good afternoon to you both. Right now the fire is completely out. We can tell you that. But when fire crews arrived earlier this morning around 615, it was a much different scene. Uh, the fire extended through the two homes right behind me. The two condos were being told by San Diego Fire and Rescue. And also some details we're hearing from a 12 year old little girl who woke up this morning to the smell of smoke. I smelled smoke a little bit and then uh, Basically, I woke up, my mom woke me up, and I heard my parents like kind of downstairs because for some reason water was flooding into our kitchen. So they were fixing that. And then I went downstairs because I heard screaming from uh, the other wall. And my mom came in and she said, okay, everybody, we're getting out, evacuate. It's, there's a fire next door. Now, Battalion Chief David Pilkerson with the San Diego Fire and Rescue said when crews arrived this morning, it was really hard to tell the difference between the smoke and fog, but crews found the fire in the walls and in the attic. Now, the family says last night they did smell something unusual in the house and then woke up early in the morning to the water heater leaking water all over the unit. Then they smelled smoke coming from the second unit, and then the quickly uh, that family left the condo to see the fire coming from the attic. They share with me how grateful they are this morning to be alive and safe after this scary experience. Now they have been they have been back left let into their home um, to grab some of those items to be able to uh, move into an, a hotel. We're being told over the next couple of days, the Red Cross is still on scene here, trying to help them with different things. Now. Fire crews have most of them have left the area. But we are so being told that there's one crew still here to maintain and make sure there's no other spark that happens just to make sure this um, area does stay safe. Now the investigation in terms of what causes fire is still being looked into. And once we do find that information, we'll share that on CBS8.com.